don't let your anger get the best of you because if you use your vehicle to take revenge on that person, there's a good chance you're going to meet me or one of my officers. First here at 6 o'clock, we take a closer look at a woman's history of dangerous driving that police say escalated to her forcing another driver off an I-44 bridge. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. Investigators say Rashawn Parker knocked to Kira McCall's car 60 feet from that bridge into the bed of the Arkansas River on Monday. McCall's car landed upside down in the sand, but she crawled out and is expected to recover. Police say the two women had a long-standing feud and officers arrested Parker for assault with a deadly weapon. In today's Oklahoma's own In Focus, News on Six's Matt Ron talks to police about how using a car as a weapon can have serious consequences and lead to life or death situations. Matt? Greg Lori, Rashawn Parker has a long list of traffic tickets in several counties, and she was currently out on bond on a gun case and had previously been convicted of assault. Now, police say it's common for suspects in cases like this to have a history of offenses. Parker's history includes offenses ranging from speeding to driving with a suspended license. Police say it's difficult to manage drivers who keep breaking laws on the road. It's always frustrating to keep running across repeat offenders. Um, the only thing we can do is just, just keep stopping them, uh, keep ticketing them or arresting them, but ultimately it's up to the, the courts. Lieutenant Stephen Flory says his unit focuses on traffic violations that involve collisions or injuries, like the terrifying incident Monday when a woman's car was forced off the I-44 bridge and fell into the sandbars of the Arkansas River, the result of apparent road rage. If you take out your frustration and your anger on people out here on the road and you use your vehicle, the likelihood that somebody's going to be seriously injured or killed are very high. And if somebody gets hurt or killed, you're going to be facing very serious criminal charges. Rashawn Parker now faces a charge of assault with a deadly weapon in that incident. Lieutenant Flory says people often forget how deadly a car can be and are sometimes too quick to make rash decisions behind the wheel. They're an enclosed object. It's more anonymous. That's a sense situation where they might flip somebody off or honk their horn or something like that. that they wouldn't do that if they, we were standing face to face like you and I are right now. He urges drivers to take a deep breath and think about the consequences before doing something dangerous. Now Parker has bonded out on the assault charge from Monday's incident, but is due in court next week on the previous gun charge. Live in Tulsa, Matt Ron, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.